Hey guys, how's it going? Phil Harris here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you a kind of scratch variation, which I find myself doing all the time. I find it the easiest and kind of find it the most impressive scratch you can just do on the spot. Uh, it's kind of like a combo scratch, okay? So uh, I suppose technically it combines a drop scratch and a transformer scratch, and it looks a little bit like this. <laughs> Okay guys, so it looks a little bit like that. I'm gonna teach you exactly the motions you need to go through in order to learn exactly how to do this, even if you're brand new to Scratch it. And now the other thing I also wanna mention really quickly is today, tonight, my Scratch course is 50% off. I'm running an offer and it ends at midnight tonight. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link directly below this video. But since the majority of people are gonna be watching this video when it's not the offer, let's get straight on with it. So the first thing you need to learn is the forward I think it's called the drop scratch, okay? Probably got the, tech, tech, uh, the terminology wrong. But the first thing you need to learn is this. Now, of course, what's going on here is I'm using the crossfader to cut the volume of this scratch. So when it's closed, nothing is being heard, which I do when I drag the scratch back. So what you need to be able to do is first just be able to drop the scratch and catch it. This would be a case of just letting go at the nine o'clock position and catching it at the 12 o'clock position and then dragging it back. Like that. And with this hand, and yes, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be something you have to practice. You kind of keep your thumb pressed up against here and you hammer this open and hold it while you drop it. When you catch it at the 12 o'clock position, you close it drag it back in silence. Okay, you just want to practice that. And you should get to this kind of point. Just practice it until you can do exactly what I just did then. Don't worry about a beat, don't worry about anything like that. Just be able to methodically open and close it. Keep it sharp sounding. You don't want to be doing this. Okay, you want it to be. Okay, right, that's demonstrated enough. That's the drop scratch. The next scratch I wanna be teaching you is the transformer scratch. And the transformer scratch is, as you drag it back from the 12 o'clock to the nine o'clock position, you're gonna tap it open twice. Same thing, the way you've gotta practice this, you just keep your finger on the crossfader and like a hammer hitting a nail, just Slam your finger in and, you know, relax your thumb slightly in that moment. You don't want to be like this. You want it to be. So just practice that. And again, uh, what you can do is just kind of drag the scratch back. And you can actually practice pushing it forward and back. So let's try pushing it forward. If I was to do this extremely slowly, it'd be. And then you want to get it into a fluid motion, so you push it forward in one and tap twice. Now what you're going to do is piece the two together, okay? So it's essentially, you let it go, catch it, tap twice, and repeat. And then you practice that for literally 24 hours. I mean, no, seriously, I mean, that's, I know that's a bit of a joke, but you just practice that a ton, and so you just get very fluid at it, okay? And practice with a slower beat to start. So when you first start, you're gonna maybe get something that's 97, 95 BPM, slow it right down to 80 BPM, you start with something very slow, and just be methodical about it, okay? So let's have a go. Okay, then you can build it up. Let's take that up to the kind of 95 and we'll try the exact same thing again. So let's go back to the beginning. Another quick tip which 
I just thought of then as I was doing this is always be conscious about bringing that scratch back to the beginning of the scratch sample, okay? You don't want to be down at the end doing this. Like that. You want to be right here. Like that, okay? And you just build that up and up and up and you will just get good at it. And the awesome thing about it is you can kind of use it anywhere. You can use it in hip hop, you can use it in EDM. Again, let me just grab a different song and show you somewhere else. Let's give this one a go. Wait a minute. notice is there, I was kind of doing it forward and back at one point I was going which is again just practice it's just hammering it like this and moving it back and forth it's the transformer scratch so there's that and then of course you can build it to stuff that's even quicker uh, like the example I gave right at the beginning of the video we can go all the way up to 125 and you can if you get good enough you can rock out at this kind of speed as well right <laughs> Pretty much it. You can see why I like this scratch. It's like I didn't invent this, by the way. It's just a little combination that I find works really nicely. Drop, tra transform a scratch back. It doesn't matter what the terminology is. You now know how to do it. Just go ahead, practice it. You're going to pick this up. You probably will find it frustrating. So just beware that that is going to be the case. But just keep practicing and go slow and get quicker and quicker. Now, if you are interested in learning how to scratch from the start and you want to learn in a very methodical way instead of just jumping in with slightly more complicated scratches like this and you want to know exactly how to do it and learn things at the right way the right time I have a full scratch course it's freaking awesome I've designed it in a kind of video style way where I give you simple scratches and I build it to more complicated scratches and I give you different kind of practices you can do and different combos you can practice where I stitch all these scratches together so after a couple of days of doing this scratch course you're going to be able to put together a nice little scratch routine even if you've never scratched before uh yeah if you're interested like i said link below this video is going to help you out but look this little combo is all you need to look like the don at the next house party at the next club you play at whatever it is you can look like a pretty freaking good scratch if you just learn this one thing hope it's helped if it has leave those comments click the like button subscribe to my channel what else? Just do it all. Do it all. Right. Um, go and check out this other video where I teach you another scratch thing. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Ciao. <laughs>